Okay. Part two, I'm back. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. I think the dark mirror reflection ritual sounded like the title of it sounds way cooler than the actual um, things you're doing actions themselves but whatever you know did you guys play like Bloody Mary um what other games that people used to play we always played kick the can but that's more of a hide and seek game and there's on that bestlife.com where I got all those there's like a bunch of different games you could play there's uh, like solo hide and seek where you're running and hiding from a g -g -g ghost <laughs> it's kind of silly I don't know there's a bunch of them on there most of them sound pretty fucking lame there's two that like involve being in a bathtub how scary is that I mean, unless you're in, like, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, where he's about to fist that girl with his knife hands while she's in the bathtub. And she's all, oh, and he's all, ugh. <laughs> ha, ha, hi. <laughs> but, I don't know. I think we've always played, like, little games like that. Just growing up, and I'm sure our parents did, too. I think just being spooky and uh, wanting to scare each other at this time of year, I think it just kind of is a preternatural thing that goes way, way back to survival and fear of the dark, fear of the unknown, winter meant death in uh, Western Europe at least because it was winter time. People would freeze to death. They'd starve to death. That sort of thing. So uh, I think that's where a lot of these games come from. But also just the idea to, that kids will like egg each other on. You know, uh, I'll do this. Will you do this? You know, kind of thing. Kind of situation that kids just do to each other. You know, for entertainment purposes and also like, you know, courage, test of courage type thing. Mm -hmm. And also just get scared. You know, fear releases endorphins and adrenaline and you do get a little bit excited when you're scared. You know, look at any the haunted houses in your local city right now you know it's the 23rd it's a fucking Friday night I bet they're packed packed and you know we still got the COVID bullshit going on which is a fucking horror movie in and of itself but I won't get into that um hey how about I play a song from a band called Anal Holocaust <laughs> and the song is called Fermented Goat Skin I love uh, bestial war metal bands because they always have the best names for their bands and also the best names for songs and I appreciate that that is not wasted on a fellow like me so here comes some Anal Holocaust I hope six million turds did not die. Not a funny joke. <laughs>
Fermented Goat Skin by the band Anal Holocaust. Bet you guys won't deny that one, huh? <laughs> I kill me sometimes. Oh, boy. What a goddamn motherfucking day. You know? Just a fucking day. But on the plus side, I got a baba. I got a baba. I got a baba. Hey, 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 hey. Baba. Black lager. Made here in the great state of Utah. I know. Mormon beer, right? Nope. It's not. We don't even adjust those goddamn things anymore. We don't adjust the alcohol content anymore. Now you just buy regular alcohol and it's uh, same content as every other state. 5% of alcohol in uh, beer. Sometimes more. Baba has five. Baba I like though. Because the dark, dark black beer. It's got a big black sheep on the front. It's made by Uinta. Uinta is the name of a mountain range here in Utah. And uh, just a terrific beer. Probably one of my favorites. Probably one of my favorite beers here in Utah is Baba. <coughs> Sorry. That was uncalled for and rude. Uh, for that uh, Archco album, the uh, Whore of Bethlehem, just because there's like an angel on it, uh, it's got like, you know, black, red, and white, you know, imagery, and there's an angel, so um, look, kind of look out for that, it's, they're from the, like I said, they're from the Bay Area, uh, but uh, definitely, definitely we're a band we're checking out, kind of one of those uh, bands you don't hear a lot about, like, kind of the origins of where a lot of this music came from and I think Demon Hammer is uh, definitely owed uh, a, a debt of gratitude well I drank all my baba I did I drank it yeah, I think it, it was the um, the anal holocaust <laughs> sent me over the edge 
with my with my last Baba. God damn it. Yum. Uh, but I do have one more song to play. It's from a band I like very, very much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> I just keep doing it. You know, I just keep doing it. I'm not proud. I'm not proud of myself right now. I'm not. Anyway. All right. Let's close it out. Let's put a fucking end to this. Let's put a tack in it. Put the fork in me, Ma. I'm done. Okay. So, we'll say this. Um, go to Blackbird Tattoo and Piercing. It's 300 South State, Clearfield, Utah. You can hit them up on Facebook. You make a me uh, Message them and make an appointment to go in. Get tattooed. Get pierced. Also... Hit up Anti All Forever Records. Go to Spikes and Hate Store uh, Buy everything they have for your significant other for a Christmas. Um, and remember, you guys can always reach me on the social media bullshits. Just look up Rocket Podcast. Uh, or you can also email me if you so choose to go that route and that email address is rocketpodcast at gmail.com all right so thank you all for tuning in thank you all for sending in your ghost stories i appreciate that very much i'm going to go through all of them this side which ones i'm going to read and which ones i'm just going to masturbate to <clears throat> Gross. Alright, so without further ado, here is one of my favorite bands, Panzerfaust. The song is called The Faustian Pact. Pact. Yeah, that's a funny word. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. And I will talk to you later. Hail Satan.